For those that didn't know it, I've been working here for 26 years, and I've seen just about every silly thing that you can do to a piston ring. Three things that I never do to a piston ring. One, when you buy a set of rings, whether it's mine or somebody else, there's a bit of engineering involved there. Don't take it upon yourself to swap top rings and second rings around. You wanna get into a real oil burning situation or a bad blow by problem, give that a try. Next one is, don't try to take a 20 over set of rings and put them in your standard bore engine. It's just more filing. No, it's not, folks. You're gonna take the ring out of shape. It's gonna go and it's gonna look like an egg when it's all said and done, and it's not gonna seal worth a darn. The other one is don't modify that oil ring expander. I get people all the time clipping them, cutting them, grinding them down because I couldn't just squeeze them in and put them in with my hands. They're not meant to be that way. That expander is not a compression ring, it's a spring. It's not gonna go in by hand. So don't swap the tops and seconds, don't overly file fit a set of rings, and don't modify that oil ring expander.